This is this this is interesting <coughs> that guys act like this is something str strange. Fist has always been picking up the bill for me, man. I mean, I don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about when I didn't have it. It wasn't like no big deal for the woman to pay for it. That's strange, man. It was never a big deal. Here you go. You got me? I left my wallet. You sure? I'm positive. Yo, man. It was just listen, man. It was never anything, man. This was never even a something that you worried about. Like if I had money, yeah, I'd pay for it. But if I ain't had no fucking money, she gonna pay for it. She might pay for it 10, 20 times in a row. Depending on how bad a brother was doing. Jamal, Jamal, Molly Maul, the congressman, man, the congressman, ceasefire now, ceasefire now, shouts Representative Jamal Bowman as he shakes the stool on the Bronx rally stage. Bowman, Bowman, he gets the crowd to chant as he jumps on stage during ALC and Bernie Sanders rally today. How tall are you? Four eight. How old are you? Twenty five. You sure? I'm sure I have ID. What's your type? I like hood niggas. Hood niggas. Why? That tow guns and sell drugs like sexy red said. Why? Because I know they gonna protect me. I can't do no square ass man. Cause baby, if some shit go left, you, you gonna be scared. I need a nigga that's ready to on go. You know what? Her honesty, she's being very honest. It's like people get on me about like the things we talk about on this show and the stories we do on the show. But I want to listen, want you to listen to what this woman values, the traits she values in a man that she'll date. And the only reason she values these traits is because of where she lives and who she's around. If she didn't live where she lived and she wasn't around who she was around, these things wouldn't be necessary. Shout out to Amala. She says, hey, Ak and Nation. Ak, you are appreciated. Yeah, salute to you, Amala. I appreciate that, man. 
Salute to you, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Let's get 400, 500 likes, man. Let's do a big one night, man. One night out the year, man. One night out the year. Let's go crazy with the likes, man. Um, Listen to this, though. What's your type? I like hood niggas. Hood niggas. Why? That tote guns and sell drugs like Zixi Red said. Why? Because I know they're going to protect me. I can't do no square ass man because, baby, if some shit go left, you're going to be scared. I need a nigga that's ready to on go. And there's some truth to that, man. Just being around black people, some shit may go left. Just being around black people, some shit may go left. Just being around sun turds and sun turd S's. Salute to my man Thomas, man. Thomas in the building. Some women taking the L in 2024. This her honesty is 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 she doesn't know she's being honest. This same woman would be Black Lives Matter and talking about systematic structures and privilege and white fragility and the the intersectionality of this and disparities in that the same woman but she knows that in the environment in which she lives and she frequents shit might pop off at any time violence is likely to happen at any time. And she prefers to be with a man who can handle violence. Who can, um, who's, who's comfortable in, uh, in violent scenarios. What's your type? I like hood niggas. Hood niggas Why? that tote guns and sell drugs like Zixi Red said. Why? Because I know they're going to protect me. I can't do no square ass man because, baby, if some shit go left, you're you going to be scared. I need a nigga that's ready to on go. You said you like hood niggas. What are you looking for? I don't know. I need you to protect me. I need you to stand on business. I need you to make that money. I need you to pay the bills. So what you going to be doing? So she looks at hood niggas for financial support which is just some goofy ass shit man because hood niggas can't pay the bills man because listen man i sold drugs i sold weed and all that shit for years man pounds even nicks i had my different runs in my different denominations man and I've been around dudes who sold dope, crack, and all types of stuff. Half the time, you just trying to make your re-up back, man. Half the time, you just trying to make your re-up. You trying to eat, get some tennis shoes and a fresh tee, maybe a pair of jeans and a jacket. Definitely some weed and liquor. But you just trying to make your re-up. Whether your re-up is 500, 1,000, 2,000, whatever your re-up is, you just trying to make that. So you can go back and get some more product and live off of that until it's gone and then you re-up again. This notion that Niggas is out here making a lot of money and shit. Yeah, there's certain guys that are. 
but they are dropping the bucket of the of the hustlers, the average street dude, the average one. I'm not saying dudes ain't out here making no money. I'm talking about that average street dude. Half the time he hustling, he just trying to make his re-up back. He living off of the extras. He living off the profit. He not, he not stacking that profit. He living off of it. Yeah, he got fresh tennis shoes. Yeah, he look good. Yeah, his hair cut. Yeah, he got on a clean tee every day or whatever. Fresh hat, fitted cap. But baby, it ain't as good as it look. He might trick on you a little bit when he first meets you to get you. If he if he really excited about you, he may trick on you in the beginning. I know I would. I used to do that shit, trick in the beginning. <laughs> trick, because everything called tricking. Anything you do is what a chick is called tricking. Brown nose in this shit. But yeah, these chicks got the game fucked up thinking a nigga with some a, a street a street nigga gonna pay some bills. Street nigga never had an apartment in his name, never had a car in his name. All his cars from the auction. These hoes lost, man. I don't know. I need you to protect me. I need you to stand on business. I need you to make that money. I need you to pay the bills. So what you going to be doing? I'm the woman. Like, you want me? I, you need to be working harder than me. I shouldn't be working harder than you. You the man. My mama never... My mama never Fuck with no nigga that can't take care of her. You need to pay them bills. Gotta pay them bills. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay them bills. We not cheap around here. How tall are you? 